Hey everybody, what is going on? It's PMOC at 86 Drive. So, time for another Auto Rewind episode. We're going to turn back the clock and take a look at a track day back in 2002 when some friends of mine and I headed over to Laguna Seca down in Monterey, California. This was back when I had my Toyota MR2 Spider. It's a very low-powered convertible two-seater with about 140 horsepower, but a fairly lightweight chassis, so it weighed about 2,200 pounds. Um, so it was a fairly quick car. I wouldn't say fast, but it was certainly fun. And this was one of my first track days at Laguna Seca, the local Northern California MR2 Owners Club held a track event and I signed up for that along with several other MR2 Spider owners that I was friends with. So we all headed out to the track together and had a fun day out on the racetrack. One thing you might catch is the guest appearance by Brian Heitkotter. He's a professional race car driver who has raced for teams like Nissan, but Back in the day, he was actually just a young man who happened to own an MR2, so I knew him from the MR2 club long before he was uh, a professional racer. He participated in the Gran Turismo Academy, where he ended up winning the American competition and therefore secured a racing contract with Nissan Motorsports. He ultimately ended up racing for Always Evolved, uh, a racing team based down in Southern California. Some of you may know that that was the team that was co-owned by Paul Walker. When I first met Brian, he was already a pretty talented autocrosser, and it was kind of amazing to watch him grow and become a professional race car driver. Super neat to see him uh, progress so far in following his dreams. But back in 2002, he was just, uh, I think maybe 19 or 20 years old at the time. Uh, he was an MR2 fan and fellow enthusiast. And so I actually asked him to come along with me uh, on my drive around uh, for a few laps at Laguna Seca and actually asked him for some pointers and some uh, coaching advice basically on how to uh, be a better driver. My wife came along and she is the one that filmed most of this footage, so cut her a little bit of slack for the shaky camera work. Um, this is all pretty much amateur level uh, cinematography, if you can even call it that. Well, without further ado, let's get to the video. Enjoy. Copy. Copy.
oil cap uh, came off during. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was fun going back in time and revisiting some of those memories of the early days when I first got a sports car and was taking it to the racetrack. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, take care guys.